So the most popular video I've done on this channel to date was titled My Mini Pedal Board where I used this tiny pedal board, this Power Stage 170, and I've got this Rev G3 pedal. I will link uh, to that video up here. This is an older one uh, back on my old crappier video setup. So I wanted to do another one of these with much qu better quality video and better quality audio for sure. But I'm also bringing in two other preamp pedals. So we're gonna do a preamp pedal shootout today. We've got the Rev G3, the Bolliger Fission Drive, and the KSR Series pedal. Um, these pedals, uh, various prices and with various features across the board on all of these. The KSR runs about 400 bucks. The Rev G3 pedal is about, I believe, 229, and the Bolliger pedal is also coming in around 200 bucks. So the power stage uh, you can pick up, I think I, you know, around 300, 350 bucks used. Um, I think these are all listed as new prices, this is probably like 450 uh, new as well. So this pedal board, uh, this is gonna go plug straight into a, straight into a cabinet, no additional amps needed. Uh, let's jump right in to these. All right, so all three pedals are hooked up to the Seymour Duncan Power Stage 170 amp, and it's running direct into a 2x12 cabinet, and I'm using a Slate VMS microphone with a uh, 57 model, so it would be really no different than me just one mic with a 57 mic in this up, and I'm running this into, uh, into Logic to record this. Now I'm gonna run through each one of these. We're gonna start kind of left to right on this, and we're gonna start with the KSR, move the rev, then the fission. And I'm gonna talk about like the different features between each one of these, but just to get an understanding, so this is a this is a, a no color power amp. Um, you know, unless you, you know, everything had broken, you would never use this as your default clean tone, but let's get a sense of what the, just a raw tone, what a raw tone sounds like. And I had the fission drive on, so we're not going to do that. Not overly pleasant, but it's really, this is just a dry power amp, so that's why all these pedals work really well um, into it. Now, if we start with the KSR, it has actually a clean channel built into it. So I'm gonna flip this switch right here. See this light turns on, so the pedal is now active. And in its bypass mode, it does have a clean tone. So it is absolutely designed to be worked with a power amp just like this, because it, it has a clean tone built in. Some of that so we can hear you know what a darker tone will sound like now this clean tone doesn't affect as we switch into the dirty tone modes um, at all because it's it's its own tone knob it's its own clean channel so on this KSR pedal as we kind of turn on the gain it's got two modes so you'll see a white light and or a blue light so there are two separate EQs for do two different type of channels I'm just going to run through one of them pretty quick I've done another uh, video of this um, in the past but I just want to give a sense of how these all compare now this is uh, a pretty bright sounding pedal but let's jump right into the tone Change 
change the mode on this. And so in on these modes, it's got two different, or actually three different amp models, so to speak, that are built into this. Um, each have different sets of controls and there are different tight and feel ones on this. <laughs> turn this one off and you see it goes back to the clean channel but I'm going to put this into true bypass mode so if, again this just goes back to that's just our original clean tone amp that we've got going on right there so let's move to the G3 now this pedal has three different aggression modes uh, so right now it's in the aggression off position. This works the same way as the Rev Amps do. This is modeled after the purple channel in the 100P amp. So what it's designed to do is model that. So it's got three different aggression modes just like that amp does. Um, and I've got the treble turned up a little bit. The gain's about 2 o'clock. Uh, let's uh, jump in and see how this one sounds. switch into the blue aggression mode. So ton of gain on tap with this pedal. We're gonna switch it down into the red aggression mode. to about uh, 10 o'clock there. <laughs> So it's pretty versatile. I mean, it, even with the uh, you know lower gain settings, you're still able to get a nice. Uh, I think it's more rounder as you add in the gain. I think it um, brightens up um, quite a bit. Brings us to the last pedal in this quick shootout is the Fission Drive uh, by Bolliger. And so I've got these kind of dialed up. There's two modes on this pedal. There's a modern and a vintage. The modern is supposed to be modeled after you know your traditional type uh, metal amp, and the vintage mode is supposed to be kind of more orangey, so to speak, is uh, the tone that I've sort of gotten out of it. So let's jump into it. It's set to the modern mode right now.
more gain on this pedal on the pre and post knobs. into the vintage mode and again this is going to be a kind of a drastically different sound just the way these things are, are set up So there we have it. Quick run through of these three pedals. Leave me some comments down below if you like what I'm doing on this channel, if you like the new two camera setup that I'm running. Just leave me some comments and smash that subscribe button and, do, uh, and like this video as well. I will see you very, very soon.